Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome. Not, I, I guess not to the price of perfection. I've gotten so used to saying that, but, uh... No, price of perfection, for those who may not have been around for it. We had the finale last week. As you can see, via Chloe's lucky bow and the scuffed egg with with no shadow in the presence <laughs> on the on the precipice of the summit there. We're uh Yeah. Challenge is over. Final tally of money spent is at the top of the screen there. Thirteen million three hundred and three thousand six hundred and ninety dollars. A very nice round number, obviously. However, there were many side goals throughout the challenge that helped keep us going, you know. The crystallariums, the, uh, I mean, just, like, many things. that We had our whole itinerary and everything. Just, like, little goals here and there. And one of them that kind of hung over my head since the very beginning, since near the very beginning of the challenge, is Fector's Challenge, a.k.a. Journey of the Prairie King, without dying a single time. And so I, I do have other content planned that I want to do on Frugal Farm. I have other things that I'd like to sort of little bonus episodes. You know, you know how like in a Pokemon game, after you defeat the uh, the Elite Four and the Champion, there's like a whole post game most of the time. You go to like the Battle Tower and the like Battle Frontier, the Sevi Islands, all this all this fun stuff. Um, this is that. This is the start of that anyway. Vector's Challenge is where we're going to start. It's something familiar, yet something that needs to be done. And then there's going to be more stuff after that. Instead of the Elite Four, it, for us it was the Elite Snore. And the Egg was the champion. So, uh... I'm very proud of that. I just came up with that off the top of my head. Anyway, happy to see some familiar faces in here. Welcome, welcome. Encoding overloaded, by the way. OBS is telling me. OBS, you can, you know, just just chill out. Just chill out. I'll tell you when the encoding is overloaded. Before we get into things here, I don't know how long the stream is going to go, by the way, um, because I don't know when I'm going to beat Fector's challenge. I'll tell you right now, though, exclamation point optimism. That's how optimistic I am about uh, about my chances. That's it, It's it's actually the exclamation point optimism command is tied directly into my cerebral cortex. It's, it's very new age, cutting edge technology, and it's... Um, it's tied right into my brain to let you know the exact amount of optimism that I feel at this exact moment for whatever I'm doing on the stream. And clearly, clearly we're in good shape right now. We're in very good shape. We're in very good standing. So uh, I think I think we have a good chance today of winning. Hello, Poseidon. No worries. Just looking at looking at all the familiar names. I see Karita, Creeper Face, J Nuggets. Many, many people. I saw Ari's be in here earlier, I think, as well. Alright. Before we get into it here, there is some new fan art, actually. The fan art is still going strong, despite the end of the challenge. If you'd like to submit your own, I mean, I'll do the whole spiel at the end, but exclamation point Discord, there's the fan art channel, obviously. But, I digress. New fan art today, starting with this from Placeholder over in the Discord. A new Stardew legend, the end. Just a very lovely artist's rendition of the summit scene. Krobus having the time of his life, as as you can tell. He's got the happiest look on his face I ever did see. Very, very nice. Thank you to Placeholder in the Discord for this one. Actual summit fan art. This is a, I think this might just be a screenshot from in the game, but... Very, very well done. Thank you. Next up, we got this from Koji over in the Discord. This is a little, a little Shrinky Dink, I think is what it was called again. Shrinky Dinks, I haven't thought about them in so long since, like, uh... I think Koji did another Shrinky Dink of, like, a cactus fruit earlier on in the challenge. Of course, you can't can't get away with that little Shrinky Dink of Haley as well. I would 100% buy this on Pinterest. Guaranteed. Thank you, Koji, for that. And I believe we have one last piece of fan art from our lovely artist of the emotes, of the emotes of the channel members, RUSB on Instagram. Perhaps a, uh, a foreshadowing of things to come in the future. It remains to be seen. All I know is that I've never seen Chloe look so beautiful. That's, uh, wow. I mean, <laughs> just, just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm floored by the talent on display, both here and in every fan art, obviously. There's, it's just, Oh, just just looking at this, it fills me with so much glee, so much joy, and I want to uh, 
I want to make it a reality in one way or another. Either way, thank you very much to all the fan artists. If you'd like to share your own fan art, exclamation point Discord. And you can join the Discord and share your fan art over there. Let us know how you want to be credited. If you want to be credited, you can also tweet it at me, at Argon Matrix. DM me. My DMs are open. However you want to get it to me is totally fine. All right, let's go over here. And one last thing I'd like to do, actually, this is a... Uh, I, just, I just thought of this just now. I was thinking of doing it earlier, but I got to hold on. Hold the phone. I got to open up one thing here. Um, because at the end of the finale, or like during the whole saga at the end of the finale, basically from the moment that we got the egg onward, there were a whole bunch of like super chats and stuff. And at the time, I was having a difficult time trying to figure out like what on earth was uh, like I was trying to figure out how to <laughs> like go back and read them because chat was going so fast. And I found that out now. So I'd like to quickly go back to uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the moments here where it first started. Um, here we go. Yeah, I just I just want to quickly give credit where credit is due. Better late than never, as they say. Um, so to all of you who have given uh, super chats, who or who gave a uh, super chat or supports or whatever way, thank you very much. And I'm gonna go quickly through the uh, ones that I missed at the end of the finale right now. Starting with Chance the Cheetah for the two two dollar super chat. We have to bring these eleven eggs to a good home. I think I actually might have already read that one, but that's okay. Uh, I'm looking for where I started here. Uh, Chaos Stripe with the 1250 Super Chat. Greg blesses you, Argon. Here's a cent for every parsnip we have taken to reach level 9 farming on parsnips alone. I remember that one. Thank you. Thank you to Chaos Stripe. Um, here we go. Jin and a Batman. Thank you for the 699 Super Chat. US, thank you for, for to Dawn Time for the $5 Super Chat. Purple Birdie had a $12 Super Chat. Just says Egg EGG. Uh, Zenny Luma Growl had a $2 super chat. I want Chloe to eat one egg. She deserves it. You may get your wish. We'll see. Purple, uh, Purple Mc McFire. <laughs> Thank you for the $1.11 super chat. Uh, Tiffany A had a $4.99 super chat. A lot of egg emojis. There might, I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm assuming there are egg emojis abundant as there always are. Uh, Keys VDB. Thank you for the $1.49 super chat and the sticker. Uh, thank you to Saitozer0 for the $20 super chat. Very generous. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, they said. Uh, Cheese McCoy with the $5 super chat. Had a, just says, good job, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Cinder Tatsu said $5 super chat. Congrats, Argon. I was here for the beginning and the, and the end, and it has been a journey. I can't wait to see where you end up next. You and me both, Cinder. You and me both. I've got some great ideas, and I can't wait to share them with you in the coming uh, coming weeks and months. Um, Jinga986 with a $5 super chat. What are we spending money on first? Uh, you can see very clearly on the screen here. Let me make sure that, uh, that the stream is still going. Yeah, okay. Because I've, I've, I've been looking at the super chat thing. I, I don't see the stream going on right now. But you can see Lucky Bow is just sitting right there. Uh, Argon Axe. Argon Axe has the Lucky Bow right on it. Um... Purple again with the $5 super chat. Congratulations. So glad to be here for this journey and the community that's come out of it. Thank you very much. Argon, love to you. Uh, Jay Rasem, or Jarasem, with the $5 super chat. Of course, a bouquet for Haley, right? <laughs> in time, in due time, it will all come to pass. Aru's B with the $5 super chat as well. Thank you so much. I'm so thankful to be part of this community. I'm glad to have you on board. Um, thank you, thank you. Mizbun with a $10 super chat. Congrats, this was an incredible undertaking. It's been a pleasure to share it with you the whole way through. Time to download a mod to marry Haley without having to kick out Krobus, right? You know, that's one way to go about it. That's one way to go about it. Whether we go that way remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. Um, of course, Elaine, Laney Green. I don't know if you're in chat right now, but uh, this was amazing, and I was just like shell-shocked at the time. I don't feel like I gave it the credit it was due. Thank you for the $400 super chat. Let me let me repeat that four hundred dollars super chat. What <laughs> from the from the finale? Like holy crap! That's that's so much. That's so much. Oh my god! Uh, huge congratulations to you, Argon. Your streams have always been entertaining and calming. Aura, I loved every minute of it, and everyone here. Thank you, thank you as well. That's just the generosity is absolutely mind boggling. Um, after that, we had Addy Poke with a five oh seven super chat. Five months and oh seven. Thank you, thank you. Chance the Cheetah with a five dollar super chat. It says 07. JRSM with a five dollar super chat. Okay, now Argon, now you know what you have to do. Time to visit the Hat Mouse. If you were there for the post-credit scene of the finale, then you know we already undertook that endeavor. 
Uh, Jolene Cujo with the $5 super chat says 07. Keith VDB with the $10 super chat. Thank you so much. This has been amazing. Thank you for watching. It's been, it wouldn't have been nearly as amazing without all of you. Uh, Shippo704 with the $10 super chat as well. Very generous to all of you. Thank you so much. Time to marry Haley and I'll buy all the hats. All the hats. Incoming. Uh, Inani Dairu with the $20 super chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. It just says thanks for everything, Argon. You're very welcome and thank you as well. Uh, Autobahn Experience with the $5 super chat. Amazing work, Argon. Popping into these streams was a joy. I hope that you continue to pop in in the foreseeable future. Rebescapades, $2 super chat. Thank you for all the entertainment and community. You're very welcome, Rebescapades. I've, you're, I know you're a long-time viewer, and I appreciate you coming back. And finally, Bunny Bucket with the $50 super chat right at the end. Just said, thank you, Argon. Thank you. $50 super chat. Absolutely mind-boggling. That's just... The amount of support, both financial and otherwise, like, obviously, if you're not able to super chat, there's, there's no no love lost at all. Um, but to those who did and were uh, and continue to, thank you so much. Your your support is it's what makes this entirely possible. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's just been an amazing ride, and I hope it continues to be an amazing ride with the things that I have planned in the future. Coming back to live chat... Hello, hello, I've been gone for so long. Gray Cheesy Egg Sandwich has been a member for three months. Thank you so much. Enjoy your new upgraded sword. Just thought I'd stop by and say hello and good luck. Thank you, thank you. We're going to need it today. <laughs> uh, Alex Flig, with member for two months. Enjoy your newly upgraded sword as well, your forest sword. What are Fector's Challenge? Fector's Challenge is beating Journey of the Prairie King, the uh, arcade game within Stardew Valley, without dying a single time. So it's it's a very difficult achievement. Might be the rarest achievement in the game amongst the player base and we're gonna give it a sh give it our best today and mobby 19 with the 25 pln super chat don't know what that currency is but thank you so much i was asleep when you got perfection but i am here now so thank you for this incredible journey you're very welcome just the thanks are abundant i can never express my thanks enough but i've waxed poetic for long enough here you're all amazing. Let's get at, let's get into the actual gameplay, shall we? Only 10 minutes past the end of the stream, but I felt that that was warranted. I felt the need to to put more focus on those because in the moment of the finale, there was so much else going on and my brain was like fried and I was like, is this actually happening? So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let me mute this and bring you back to Frugal Farm for the first time in around about a week. Here we go. All right. PLN is Polish. Polish Zloty. That's around five dollars. Right on. Thank you for the conversion. All right. Can you hear everything okay? I did mess around with some audio settings, some audio balance settings with with some like recording and stuff that I had to do between uh, between now and like when the finale aired. So hopefully it's fine. Rubgul Farm. Chloe. Now with adorned with her signature lucky bow. I mean, it's right in the name, the lucky bow. It's what we were missing for for Fector's challenge. This is this is the outfit. This is the official. This is why we haven't been able to beat it up until this point. Is that the lucky bow has been absent, absent from our from our dome, and it's time. Thank you for letting me stay here, Chloe. I'm looking forward to another great year. You and me both, Krobus. You and me both. So satisfying to see that bow. I'm right there with you. All right, inventory empty. It's you and me. This machine has been around for so long. Krobus is coming over just to watch over my shoulder. He knows that it's, that it's due. All right, let's just let's just make this like a really short stream. Let's make this a really short stream, and just uh, I know I know maybe you don't want it to be a short stream, but if I can get this on my first attempt. Oh, by the way, before I get into this. Gotta do with a little pageantry. Bottom left corner, by the way. All right. Attempt one of the stream. I don't know how many attempts there's been before this uh, before this moment, but here we go. Start new journey. It's time. Let's just knock it out. Very first try, shall we? Very first try out the gate. As with all... Uh, Prairie King attempts in days past, in streams past. I won't really be able to look at chat during the levels. It's extreme lurker hours during Prairie King, but I hope that you enjoy the show nevertheless, and I'll do my best to make it entertaining for you. All I know is that one way or another, 
I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. And also, one way or another, I'm gonna beat Journey to Prairie King without dying a single time. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But Fiona's got it exactly right, exclamation point optimism. Whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. That old adage, where does that come from? Is that like a... Because I've definitely heard that in many different contexts before. Like, that's an oft-repeated quote or, you know, motivational thing. Whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. Who first originated that? Who is... Where is the apotheosis of that? It's not what apotheosis means, but you know what I mean, hopefully. Krobus Gaming. Krobus is a gamer, absolutely. All about that optimism around here. We always believe that we can. I mean, we're in year 111, almost year 112. The optimism has not died down for a single instant during all those 111 years, so... Why now? Why now? Why not? In, in fact, why not now? Why not us? Attempt 1. You only get one shot at your first attempt. By the way, 15 gold on level 1 is actually insane. <laughs> That's actually ridiculous. The screen the screen counter did wonders for Skull Caver. Good idea to do it now. That's what I'm thinking, Kitty Kruger. We'll see how, how high that attempt counter is, is going to go here, but... Uh, hopefully I won't need to press a single the, the hotkey to increment that counter a single time. By the way, for, this is the first, because there there is an auto hotkey script involved, as there often are with these things on screen, these like counters and things. But this is the first one that uh, stream friend Charoje did not make. I actually made this one myself because it's about the most basic thing you can make. <laughs> it's just something that like allows you to increment and decrement with a single button press, just a number. It doesn't get much easier than that, so if I couldn't make that, then I'd have to probably hang up my programming hat, my, my would-be programmer's hat. What is what is this gold luck? Oh, okay, I really need to make the most of this run right now, because... you you 23 gold by, like, halfway through level 2 is actually just unprecedented levels of, of amazingness. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that we've achieved perfection now and our, our drop rates are, are doubled or something. Or if it has to do with, you know, it being the last day of the year in the game. Any number of superstitions could be the culprit here. All I know is that I'm, t I'm willing to take make the most of it here. I was a little nervous for a second there, but I think we're going to be fine here, honestly. Get this guy. So damage upgrades. I, d I actually... I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did a little Fector's Challenge... Or at least a little Prairie King practice over this past week. Not like a whole ton, but I feel like I've got a new flowchart for how things uh, how things go in Prairie King nowadays. I feel like at the first shop you buy either the damage upgrade or the fire rate upgrade, whichever one you can afford, prioritizing the damage upgrade. Um, and then from then on, you kind of just buy what you can afford, even if it's just like a speed upgrade. You just don't want to like miss a shop. I think you can afford to miss maybe one shop and like hold out to the next one, but. Ideally not. The lucky bro, br lucky bow bringing you good luck. That's very true. The middle is made of solid gold. That that has to be the luckiest bow in the world. He's cracked. Watch out. It's easy to get very excited about uh, our odds here, obviously, because the gold is is very high. The gold and the luck and everything so far. But keep in mind, this is literally level three, so. <laughs> There's a long way to go. It's a long way to the top if you want to kill Fector. I've always said that. That's one of my, my one of my favorite sayings. Where do you think Concerned Ape got the name Fector from? Because I'll tell you, anytime that I think of Fector, like the name Fector, I, I always conflate it in my head um, with the NES game, the Nintendo game Fector or Fester's Quest, which I think is an Adams Family game. The only reason I know that is from my time watching the Angry Video Game Nerd back uh, as, as, a, as a wee lad. I haven't watched uh, the AVGN in a very long time, but I did used to watch him as I think most people did. He was very popular back in the day. Don't know what he's up to now. I think he's got like a family and stuff, so you know. Hopefully he hasn't been cancelled recently. Oh, 
all the best, regardless. Alright, good level, good level, not bad at all. What a happy surprise, Argon time. Hello, Elaine. Laney Green, thank you very much for, uh, for coming in. Nice little surprise, nice little quiet Monday stream. Little Fector's Challenge. The fact that the game was developed by the same devs as Blaster Master still feels weird. Blaster Master, is that like a, is that a shoot 'em up game or is that a, one of those games? Is that a game where you like drive like a tank or something? I forget what Blaster Master is. I do love good, I do love NES games. You know what I always thought would be kind of a fun idea? And when I say fun idea, I also mean like insane. It's one of those insane things that like, given the fact, you know, exclamation point playtime, the amount of time that I spent on on this challenge in Stardew Valley, you gotta take with a grain of salt the things that I find fun. <laughs> but something I've always thought would be fun is to go through the entire NES library of all the games and try to do, like, a full NES speedrun or something. I don't know how many of those games on the NES are, like, super, super long. I can't imagine that there's that there's many of them, right? I'm gonna probably let that gold go just because I've already gotten so much gold that it's not worth even risking it at this point. Didn't feel safe. But the NES, it's like a console that's got... It's got a lot of games on it, don't get me wrong, especially once you take into account, like, region-exclusive things or, like, bootleg games or whatever. Um, but if you just were to, like, go with, like, officially Nintendo-sanctioned games, even then there's gonna be, like, a ton... And you try to speedrun all those. Not in, not in one sitting, I'm not that crazy. But, you know, a little segmented speedrun. I think that could be a really fun time. The, the any percent NES speedrun. A lot of them are long since they're very hard. That's true. That's that's how they made them so that's how they artificially inflated the length of NES games, which is by making them crazy hard. Case in point Ninja Gaiden. No one's ever beaten that game, pretty sure. All right, um, I'm gonna go fire rate upgrade, I think. We're good to go. It's called NES Mania. NES Mania speedrun. Is that, oh, so it's really, it's already a thing. Interesting. Interesting. And Super Mario Bros. 2 Japanese, The Lost Levels. I actually, I've played a decent amount of The Lost Levels, and I honestly find it, uh, I mean, it's hard, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be, like, humble bragging off my gourd here. But I've had harder time. I've had a harder time with uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 than I have with Lost Levels. Maybe it's just because Super Mario Bros. 3 is a longer game and you gotta maintain that focus for longer. So maybe it's, you know, artificially. Just in my head. But it's also, I, I don't know, I really like the Lost Levels personally. I was one of those crazy people who did, like, the, who actually. Because I think if you beat Lost Levels something like eight times in a row. Then you unlock the A, B, C, D worlds. There's probably like some kind of cheat code to unlock them, but I did that. I went and beat I went and beat lost levels like eight times in a row. Tried to do it the, the legit way to unlock the A, B, C, D worlds. And I had a very fun time with it, honestly. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Ooh, that's all. That's even better. Even better. I just got to get in there with it. All right, quick bullet hell boss moment. Don't mind if I do. We're just, we're literally shredding. Just no one can get in here. Where, where are all the enemies? They're running scared. <laughs> so scared. I, honestly, I can't blame them. If I saw a boss that looked like me, that many bullets on screen, I would think I was playing like Blaz Blue or something. Is that, is that a, a famous, you know, bullet hell genre, Blaz Blue or series or something? I've heard of Blaz Blue, and I always want to call I always wanted to call it Blaze Blue for the longest freaking time, but I'm pretty sure it's Blaz Blue. Literally know next to nothing about it other than the name. This is a name that sticks in your head. Good stuff, good stuff. The power-ups are out of control on this run. Base and point. All right. There we go. Good stuff. 
Uh, that's not enough to buy anything. I think I'm going to go ahead and not take my own advice, because I, I would maybe take the speed upgrade. But I think we're so close to a uh, to a fire rate upgrade or a damage upgrade, I feel like I got to hold out. Like I said, you can skip one shop and be relatively okay, I think. Is that a freaking BTD6 reference? Is it Bloons Tower Defense 6? <laughs> I haven't played Bloons since Tower Defense 2, I'm pretty sure. Blaz Blue is a fighting game? What am I thinking of then? Happy birthday, Zipporah, by the way. Birthday yesterday. Nice, nice. Happy to hear it. Can we get some birthday cake emojis in chat for Zipporah? Big guns. These boots were made for walking. All right, let's, let's, let's move right along here. No shop for me today. Thank you very much. I'll just save my, my funds for a later date. If the gold drops keep coming this hot and fast, then we should be able to relatively easily, hopefully, get enough for a um, for a damage upgrade by our next shop. I'll be looking forward to that. Ooh, that's, I'm also looking forward to these. Good stuff. Oh, that's five right there. Like, come on. <laughs> I just gotta not get cocky here. That's the, I think that the game is trying to lull me into a false sense of security on this run. This run is so good right now. Like, unbelievably good. That it's making me want to be like, oh, we got this in the bag on our first attempt. And now that I've even just said that, like, mockingly, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid for my life and for the future of this run. But right now, I'm, just ha I'm, having a, I'm willing to have a great time. Take all the boons that the game is going to give me. And, uh, and see where we land. Just don't stand too close to the edges. The exits and on... On, on these levels, specifically, the exits you don't want to stand too close to, obviously. And then on World 3... Hold on. In World 3, the corners are also pretty spooky. A lot of these big guys, that's not the best. Not the worst, either. Okay. We're in good shape. Heavens to Murgatroyd. I've got 37 gold. What is going on? <laughs> Imagine if it was the first attempt, though. Don't jinx me, Mabby. Don't jinx me. All right. Not. To, I'm trying not to jinx myself. Let's just, you know, not even, not even focus on it. Exclamation point optimism, though. We we believe less in jinxes and more in more in optimism around here. It's all about that mental attitude. You might say, Argon, how can you clickbait so hard in the thumbnail? You don't know that you're gonna actually beat Vector's Challenge today. You can't you can't you can't use that thumbnail unless you actually beat Vector's Challenge. And I'm right there with you. I don't I don't wanna clickbait anybody, so let's just let's just beat it right here and now. That felt that felt right. I don't know why. That just felt right. I felt like I was gonna be cornered in a second if I didn't do that, so. Hopefully you'll be able to get another sheriff star in due time, or at the very least a machine gun. If I can hold on to a machine gun or a sheriff star until until the final boss, I remember Blade said that that's a uh, that there's like a way to cheese the boss with that, or to like make it make it easier at any rate, not necessarily cheese, but just like a good strategy to employ. So I'm gonna be doing my best to make that a reality. Good stuff. Okay, want that. Don't pay attention to the timer. I find myself more often than I should looking up at the at the level timer at the very top of the screen there, seeing how much time is left. And that puts me off my rocker. Puts 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 me in a bad spot. Alright, I don't know if that was necessarily the right play to use the power up right then, but it felt good. There we go. Okay, that's good. If I can hold on to this, like I said, until the final boss, we'll be in a fantastic spot. This is an amazing amount of money. Almost 50 gold. Almost 50 gold. We almost had enough to buy both upgrades if they, if they even let me do that. Of course they won't, but... All right, quick drink, quick drink. The hard part about this game is that it can be 10 seconds away from death at any point. That's very much what I'm trying to keep in mind. That's very much what I'm trying to keep in mind. No matter how many power-ups you have, no matter how much gold you have, no matter how good you think you're doing, the game can humble you real quick. It, it, it only takes a single bullet. There's no armor upgrade. You can't get a second hit point. You just have to you just have to play perfect. And power power-ups and you know upgrades and gold 
all that. Definitely make it easier to play perfect, but you still have to play perfectly. You have to get nail those dodges every single time. You use your uh, use your power ups prodigiously and carefully. This guy's being a real jerk. I'll tell you that right now. Don't don't stop behind there. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's that's great. Okay, that should be him done, I think. Unless, no, we're good. Oh, he almost got out of there at the very end. Did you see that? Took 14 lives, by the way. Not that I need them. Definitely not going to need them. The cowboy can't dodge forever. All right, going into world three. 84% belief in the in the poll that's going on the stream. Can we be a factor challenge today? Let's see if we can make it a reality. World 3, by far the hardest world. We've seen it many times. Many runs have come to die in this world, but not today. Not today. Today, we take we, we look at World 3, all the gravestones around, and we're not adding any to the... We're not adding any more to these gravestones, other than the monsters, but the monsters don't get gravestones. They don't deserve them. You might think that's, that's a cruel outlook. I say... <laughs> That's what I say. Is I say ooh, because I had to skirt by that zomp, that uh, that mummy. Wait, that was way closer than it than it, than I wanted it to be. All right, I need I need to realize that I need to use my power up, possibly here. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. There's so many. There's ooh, that's, that was great usage. Great usage of the power up. Great usage right there. This is amazing. Make my own dang Sheriff Star? Alright, we're in good shape. World 3 is very much the world where they make you use all of your t all of the tools at your disposal. I'm not going for that coin, that's bait. There's going to be a, a little imp that spawns right on top of me the instant I pick that coin up. You knew- e I, I know no imps spawned over there, but you know that if I had gone for it, there would have been a spawn. 1000%. that gold. I don't know how much more gold I realistically need here. I know I have enough for the next fire rate upgrade here. I wouldn't mind getting that speed upgrade, though. That speed upgrade would be huge. So if I can get five more gold, which should be easy enough, but I'm not gonna go, like, super out of my way to make it happen, I don't think. What is the final world? This is the final world. World 3 is it. If we can get to the end of this and beat Fector, that's it. Alright. Here we go. DIY Sheriff Star. Don't let them get in your head. Just, just kill them. Just kill them as fast as they spawn. Focus down those guys. I'm gonna grab that real quick. That was a little scary. I had a mini heart attack when I saw that imp spawn right next to my face. But it's all good. It's all. This is great. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Don't stand in the corner. Don't stand that in, that close to the corner. I've made that mistake more times than I can count. Today is not. That's 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 what, exactly what we're looking for. All right, seven gold. I need one more gold for the speed upgrade of my dreams. Speed upgrade could be clutch. I don't know how useful it'll be during the actual final boss, and I don't think that a, uh, that a shop appears until, like, literally right before the final boss. Yeah, I got, I got enough gold. I'm not going for any more. We don't go for any more gold. Now we just go for power-ups if we need them, which we obviously will. Okay, that's, that's a great power-up right there. That's a little invincibility. Don't mind if I do. Little uh, little machine gun as well. Okay, we'll take that. Take that as well. Just send it. Just send it. Come on. No more enemies? You're really going to do me like that? <laughs> okay, I knew that. I knew they were out there somewhere. Good stuff. Okay. We're in great shape right now. Exclamation point optimism. We fully believe in the you. I believe in the you that believes in me, chat. I believe in the you that believes in me. This is the hardest level coming up, though. This is the hardest level coming up right now. So I'm going to I'm going to put all my focus into this one. I'm going to give you my all here. Here we go. I got a sheriff star in reserve. I need to I need to use that if I have to. I'd love to save it for Fector. I would absolutely love to save it for Fector. But if I have to use it to survive, I, I will. 
Oh, I accidentally used it. Alright, I, I, I just pressed the space bar. I don't know why I pressed the space bar, but we're going, okay? <laughs> Possibly the worst play of all time. Maybe the worst, the worst play in human history. Did I just throw the entire run? We'll see. We will soon see. I gotta make the most of this while I can, though. I misclicked with my thumbs. That's good, though. That's that's a good that's a good pickup. I can hold on to that. All right, let that let that hang out for a minute, just to get as many as you can. Ugh, what? I walked into him. I walked in. I walked into the. I just I just straight up walked into that guy. What the heck was my problem? <laughs> How did I just walk into that guy? I thought I'll tell you exactly what happened. I thought I shot him. I, I 1,000% thought I shot that guy, and so I walked there thinking that I would be safe, and then I wasn't safe. Sorry, we'll, we'll get a little a little practice in against Vector at the very least. Now that we're this close to the end, we might as well just, you know, send it to the very end here and try and get some practice in against the final boss, because he is a bit... He's not, he's not a pushover. Much as I say that this is the hardest level, and I'll stand by that... That's really good. Um, Fector himself is also not a pushover, so I need to be fully on my A-game when I actually do get a chance at him. But for right now, we're just, we're just gonna get in a little practice run. A little practice run. I will say, if that's the if that's literally the only death I have, I'm gonna be a little upset. But not that upset. I mean, there was no way I was going to do this on my first attempt, right, by the way? Alright, um, get to get the little speed upgrade real quick. Who is Fector? Fector is this guy right down here. You're about to see him. Can't wait for the 12-hour stream of not being able to get past World 2 now. So I think if I line up, like, right here, roughly, I can just kind of, like, just yeet, just yeet him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's probably the strat then, huh? That's probably the strat. All right, that's not that's not actually the win though. Get me out of here. Get me out of here and increment my counter. We're going into attempt number two now. I only had one first try. Well, you know what? We also only have one second try. So uh, <laughs> we only have one second try. I just want to make sure that the counter actually incremented there. Okay. Excuse me. What happened to optimism? Exclamation point! Optimism. We're as optimistic as ever. Did I say something unoptimistic? All right, we're going in. Start new journey. There's always more tries. As long as I can still press down a press down a key button on my keyboard, you're guaranteed there's still more tries. All about that optimism. We made it there. We made it so close to the end on our very first try. Let's just do it again. Just do the exact same thing again. Maybe I won't get as, as much money as last time. That's all right. We don't need that much money. We don't need that much money. We just need we just need a little bit of money. We were getting greedy on that first attempt. The greed is what sealed the deal. I went full. Sh I, w I used my sheriff star, albeit accidentally, far too early, and that's what cost me. Kind of. I mean, it's you know, <laughs> got to roll back the footage and look and look at the game tapes to see exactly. What went down there, but I believe that played a part, at least in my in my mental attitude. It sh it as the kids say, I think the scientific term is that it shook me. I was shooketh by that turn of events, and uh, I was off my A game. I was only on my like my B plus game. So, but now we're back on it. Thumb far away from the from the space bar at non critical moments. Nothing personnel, kid. All right. Traveling merchant sends her regards. Argon was all thumbs. I was I literally fat thumbed the space bar. I was so nervous. It's all right. Attempt two. We can still do this in in single digit attempts. There's no there's no shot that we do that we takes like more than ten attempts. I'll I'll tell you that right now. I mean, there's no shot it takes even more than like two attempts, realistically. But 10 is just, you know, no, like, no, in no world. In no world? We've had so much practice throughout the challenge itself. I don't know how many attempts that was. Chat, how many attempts do you think 
I took at Factor's Challenge throughout the entirety of the Price Perfection Challenge. We can do some math and try and figure it out. I did, I tried to do roughly one per stream. I tried to average one per stream. It kind of fell off towards the end of the challenge. And then there were some, some challenges or some days where I did uh, multiple attempts. There were some days where I didn't do any attempts. I think somewhere in the neighborhood of like 100 attempts is probably accurate. Because there were a total of 75 episodes, quote unquote, of The Price of Perfection, 75 streams. And if you take that math into account, I think that's I think that 100 is a pretty generous estimate. Maybe that's just me though. Ooh, little sheriff star. I'll take that. You know what? Take that. Take that to the bank and cash it if I can. Actually, I'm not gonna get the chance. I don't think. Nope. All right, that's fine. Didn't need it for this level anyway. All right. Don't have enough for the damage upgrade. I'm gonna go for the fire rate upgrade because fire rate is it's still like a, a damage per second upgrade, so it's basically the same thing. You're gonna guess dead on 75. I'm not gonna go and like look through the look through every stream and do the math, although it probably wouldn't really realistically be that hard because I usually played a uh, Prairie King at the end of a stream anyway, so you could just like go through each VOD and be like, all right, did he play Prairie King at the end? How many attempts did he do? Yada yada. And just like math that out real quick. It probably wouldn't, it wouldn't be like the same as going through all the VODs and trying to find the specific moments you need. Speaking of which, by the way, I will fully admit I have not actually started the editing process for The Price of Perfection yet. I basically took this last week and it was kind of a siesta for me in a, to, in a certain way. Not that, like, like I, I I had lots of fun doing The Price of Perfection. It was an amazing experience. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. But uh, it was also very tiring, very exhausting by the end of it. And at the end of that finale stream, I just, like, kind of collapsed. And I was like, you know what? I just need to take some time for me to enjoy my own, my own stuff and... I did take that time. I, I did also do some work on other things. There's one specific thing. It's not. A, it's not like a video or a uh, or a stream or anything like that. It's it's something entirely unique that I'm working on. That I'm very excited to share with you guys when the time when the time is right. I'm hoping it's going to be ready within the next week or two. I think it's going to be fun. It's something that you guys will be able to participate in. It's something that uh, I think is going to get the community riled up. I don't want to give away too much right off the bat here, but it's uh, it's going to be fun. And beyond just that, I've got uh, some ideas for post like post game price of perfection challenge streams. So many different things I want to do, and just so little time to actually execute them all, execute on them, and do them. Okay, real quick, gotta sneak out here. I need to grab all this money. It's a little bit greed, but I got that sheriff star, so I feel like I felt a little bit safer to do that. Same right here. Okay, grab that, grab that. Just, just you know, when you got the Sheriff Star, when you got the power-ups, you got to use them. And on this level, that means leaving the, uh, leaving your safe abode for a little bit. Speaking of new ideas, by the way, for, like, streams and videos and stuff, it's kind of amazing how many ideas that I hadn't thought of came flooding to me literally within like the 24 hours after the end of the price of perfection stream I'd, I'd like so much of my thought process and my you know investment of my time and consciousness was wrapped up in the challenge and and once that was over and i realized oh i can like focus a little more intently on other things now all of a sudden uh, hold on hold on hold, hold the phone hold the phone okay we're good that was a little a little spicy but we're good I can get out there that would be even better okay um all of a sudden like the creativity dam just like broke and busted loose and there's just a full waterfall a deluge of creativity and ideas has anyone else ever had that experience where you like, you've been focused on one project or one thing for so long that when that thing's finally over I, I was worried that it was going to be like when that thing was finally over, I was going to be like, now what? And just be kind of at a loss for what to do. And there was a little bit of that, admittedly. But I've also 
more so had like, all right, I'm ready to move on to the next thing, whatever that might be. And I mean, the next thing will still encapsulate the price perfection. At least some of the next things will. So it's definitely, it's definitely a great time. What are you thinking to do now that's over? So many things, MC. So many things. I don't even know where to begin. That's kind of the problem right now, honestly. <laughs> I think the optimism counter is too low. We easily have 200% optimism. I agree with you, Charlo J, but unfortunately, mathematics, you know, dictates. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, the optimism command is hooked into my brain by the most cutting edge uh, neurotechnology available. And unfortunately, the people who made that neurotechnology are uh, are sticklers for math, so 100% is the cap. But I think we might easily break that cap if we're not careful. Like I think we're closing in on 200, 300% optimism, and I don't want to I don't want to get too optimistic. Not because it's a bad thing. There's no such thing as too much optimism, really. But because I worry that the that the that the technology will not be able to handle so much optimism. It'll be like a literal pog overflow. Full optimism hours begin right now. If you want a secret hack, by the way, to, to be more optimistic in your life, because I do get a lot of people throughout the streams and, like, in comments and stuff, they're like, how, how do you have so much patience? How are you always so, like, optimistic? And, number one, I don't feel like I'm, like, special or anything. That's, like, I, I'm not that narcissistic. I'm just, like, you know, I've got a certain mental attitude and it works for me, and it might not work for you, but if it does, then all the power to you. But something that really I find does help me is surrounding myself with, uh with as much optimism and like as much positivity as I can find. You don't want to you don't want to bury your head in the sand and be blind to things going on in the world with that said exclamation point current events. But at the same time, you've got to maintain that positive outlook and to do that, if you see something or someone being like very negative or or some something to that to, to that context which is unfortunately more commonplace these days on the internet and everything. Than I would than I would like it to be. If you see something like that, don't feel the need to like argue with that person or try to like talk them down from their place of negativity or toxicity or whatever it might be. That that's just a losing argument no matter what. They're not gonna be swayed by no matter what you say, and their negativity is just gonna rub off on you the more that you interact with them. When you see something like that going on, honestly, just like uh just go somewhere else. <laughs> just like, you know, go for a walk, go somewhere else on the internet, go find a streamer that you like and are, that they're having fun with. Personal recommendation would be would be Dan Giesling over on Twitch. Easily my favorite streamer in the past few years. Very, very optimistic guy. You'll notice definitely some some similarities between his uh, his attitude and also his like nomenclature and stuff. And, and, the and the stuff that I try to put on display here. And that is fully intentional. I am absolutely copying some, some of his stuff because I think he's, a, I think he's a, a great guy who does great stuff. All you have to do is look at his most recent streams where he's been fighting the same boss in Elden Ring and has, has put in over 1,700 attempts, I think, as of today and uh, is still like going through with a smile on his face. Our chat is awesome. Everyone here is the best. I'm right there with you, Elaine. Who is? That's Dan Giesling over on Twitch. I'm not advanced with colors, so Neptune was just purple. <laughs> no point in arguing with those types of people. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's just there's there's no winning arguments there. All right, 29 gold. That was a very gold rich level. I'll say that much. I got like three, like two or three five piece coins. Which normally you're, you're lucky to get two or three five-piece coins like in a single game of stuff of uh, effect of Journey of the Prairie King. So the fact that I got it on a single level, pretty exciting. Pretty exciting indeed.
This early Sheriff Star carrying us through like literally just about half of this level is also very exciting. Not gonna lie, it all, it's, it's almost the fact that I'm seeing that it literally carried me through like about half the level. It's very tempting because I have a Sheriff Star in my inventory to just use that and carry me through the last half of this level because this is a difficult level to say the least. Or I could just, you know, no! <laughs> I could just get that. Could could have just grabbed that Sheriff Star. That would have been probably the play in reality. But that's okay. We just run it back. Just run it back. It's fine. Millennia? It is Millennia, yeah. That's the boss that he's been fighting for 1,600 odd attempts. 1,600, 1,700. That was a great run. But you know, the path to a winning run is paved with great runs. There will be many... We've had so many great runs in the past that have gone the way of the dinosaur. We, it, it just goes to show that literally any run can be a great run. And it only takes one of those winning for us to actually call this a W, so... He walked away. <laughs> Get a bit of starting gold on this one too. I'm not mad at it. 100% optimism, absolutely. Our optimism level is the same as our exclamation point perfection level right now. Love to see it. Like I said, I, I do have a lot of ideas for things I want to do post-Price of Perfection here, now that we're in, living in a post-Price of Perfection world. I have some fun ideas for things I want to do on the farm, but uh, you guys hit me up with some of your ideas, too. I'm not guaranteeing that every idea is going to see the light of day, but I'm always open to suggestions and things. Feel free to like share them in chat or on the Discord or whatever for, for things you might like to see. Obviously, some of the, some of the front runners, we want to marry Haley one way or another. We already bought the Lucky Bow. I do also have the... I have to go get the Statue of True Perfection from Cheese Walnut Room. I totally didn't even do that in the finale, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But it's also kind of fitting, right? That uh, I, I don't want to get that statue until I'm, like, done. According to the game, we may have achieved 100% perfection, but there's things beyond perfection that, that remain to be done. Case in point, what you're seeing right now. Like Walter White said, I've still got things left to do. Having a horse, obviously. I think that's, that has to go hand in hand with marrying Haley. As, as uh, exclamation point Haley will sometimes tell you, she does indeed want a pony. And I think we can make that a reality. Exclamation point horse, by the way, because like for right now we still do not own a horse. But who knows? There, there may come a day where exclamation point horse gets updated. So you do own a horse. Smiley face. Hollow Knight stream when? I would definitely like to do some 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 Hollow Knight related content for sure. I still haven't played through like the entirety of the game, so it would be uh it would be a good idea to do it on stream probably. All right, no damage upgrade availability here. That's fine. We'll just get our DPS upgrade and carry on our way. Haley would be one of those women who rides down the aisle on a horse. I could see it now. <laughs> why, why did I take that share star when I have a coffee in my reserve? I honestly forgot that I only had the coffee in reserve, to be perfectly honest with you. I thought I already had a share star, so that's just my bad. It's alright, we're still early on in the game. We'll get another one before too long. We'll just take that for now, I think. Certainly better than the coffee. I think I have become of the opinion that the coffee might be... I know this is blasphemous to say, given how much coffee helped us during the actual challenge itself, but in Prairie King specifically, I think coffee is, like, the worst item by far now. Like, I didn't... I used to not like this smoke bomb, but I've come around to it. The nuke and the, uh... And, like, literally every other power-up have their place. Coffee, you know, it's nice in the moment. It's one of those that you definitely 
it's a good idea to pick it up if you happen to be in the area and you already have something in reserve. It's just a nice little speed bonus. But it's definitely not going to make or break you. It's not something you want to bring in Defector, I'll tell you that right now. Ooh. Five piece. Money, money, money. I would like that. Thank you. One thing I do always worry about with that smoke bomb is uh, that it's going to like teleport me into an enemy or something. But I've actually realized that that doesn't matter because when you use the smoke bomb until the power up runs out, you actually have like full invincibility frames. You can just like walk through enemies. It's literally not possible to get like telefragged by, by an enemy. Which I think is the uh, <laughs> is the process of getting like teleporting into an enemy or an el enemy teleporting into you possibly. That was a very, very nice chunk of change right there. Literally stumbled into a dragon's horde, basically. Should have also probably swapped out the uh, for the machine gun. The machine gun and the and the sheriff star. One of those has got to be the one that we take in the factor. I don't care which specifically. And I'm not gonna, you know, like throw my life away to make it to make it happen. Either. Priority number one is always going to be survive defector. Priority number two will be to keep that power up there. Little coffee. See that? That's the, that's the exact circumstance in which coffee is you is okay. Because <laughs> if it happens to be in the path that you're going through anyway, why not pick it up and never risk your life for it? This is this is your P argon PSA for the day. Never risk your life for a cup of coffee. No matter how, no matter how much you might feel like you need it, trust me, it's not worth it. Coffee tastes bad anyway, so like, why would you, why would you do that? All right, quick little, ooh, get out of here! All right, good stuff, good stuff. This, that's enough for our damage upgrade and then some. What's the plan for this stream? You're watching it. You're watching it happen live right now. We're just going to beat Fector Challenge. What happens if I do that before, like, four hours have elapsed? Because I don't want to go longer than four hours. This is not going to be another 12-hour stream, I'll tell you that right now. This is going to be just, you know, a regular length stream. And if I beat Fector Challenge before then, then, you know, we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. Are you ending the poll soon? I probably should, honestly. <laughs> It hasn't moved from the 80 percentile range in a while. It's actually gone down from the 84 percent belief to 81 percent belief. But that's still a very high amount of belief. Will I be factor challenged today? 81 percent say yes. Attempts goal for fanfic. It's tempting, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Elaine. That's, that's very scary. You had your debit card compromised. I lost a, I lost my wallet. This is several years back now. I lost my wallet while I was on like a C train th going through Calgary. I might have already told this story, but like I lost my wallet and I, I noticed it very quickly. I don't know if it was like pickpocketed for me or if I just like dropped it somewhere or what exactly happened to it. It was in like a relatively loose pocket in my coat, I think, and that's uh, like never again, obviously. <laughs> never again will I let that happen. But I went through all the motions of like replacing all the cards and getting all the important stuff taken care of, canceling the cards that already existed, yada yada yada. Uh, didn't think about it for a solid, you know, six, seven months, something like that. Then I get a call from a police department in a town in like northern Alberta, like like probably like a good seven or eight hours from where I am. And they're like, hey, are you Argon Matrix? They didn't call me Argon Matrix, but, you know, I don't want to dox myself. And I'm like, yeah, I'm Argon Matrix. And they're like, yo, we just found your, uh, we just found your ID and your information here as part of an identity theft ring when we busted, like, these people. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> That's that's great. That's I mean, it's comforting to, comforting to know that the identity theft ring got, you know, busted. <laughs> but at the same time, it was like, what did they do in that intervening six months? Is is a little is a little spooky for me to think about. 
Hey, Jay Nuggets, by the way, thank you for uh, being a member at the Electron level or becoming a member at the Electron level. I appreciate it. Like, I didn't even think that, like, the, the phrase identity theft ring, I didn't know whether that was true to life or that was, like, a, a movie thing. Like, it's literally, what do they do? It's just, like, a circuit of people and they, like, sell my information on, on the black market, presumably? I thought I swapped out my, uh... There we go, that, I, that's what I want. I want some kind of machine gun. I thought I had swapped that out for the Sheriff Star last level, but clearly I made some kind of error of judgment there. Like an identity theft ring. It just sounds like something out of the Hitman games or something. I don't even know. It sounds too spooky to be real. But well, nothing ever came of it. Like, I, I never got... I mean, maybe something did come of it and I just don't know it. I'm not privy to it, but... Uh, I've never gotten any, like, weird phone calls. Like, hey, you owe $70,000 to the uh, South African government. So I'm pretty thankful for that. Give me that wagon wheel, please. Has anyone picked up wagon wheels in recent times, like the snack? I've talked about it several times on stream, and I want to know if that's, uh, if that, you know, subliminal messaging has gone through to anybody, and they've actually bought wagon wheels the next time they were in the store. Because I've definitely done that, where, like, a streamer will mention something on their stream, and then I'll go and, like, buy that food very shortly thereafter. But I don't know if I've had that effect on anyone. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're good. We're good. Share star would be nice. This is a very spooky level. Very spooky level. Just, you know, focus. Alright, that's good. That's that's exactly what you want to see. Alright. I mean that's share star for right now. I want to save up for my next damage upgrade, right? Because I've gotten I've gotten both fire rate upgrades. Now I just need what 30 for the damage upgrade, and we'll be in great in a great position. Don't need that extra life, no matter how much I might feel like it's a it's a good luck charm or something. It's got my face on it. How could it not be a good luck charm? Although, granted, if I saw something with my, like, a little amulet or something with my face on it in real life, I would be, like, very scared. I'd be like, who is hunting me? <laughs> I wouldn't really consider it good luck now that I think about it. I'm gonna take that real quick. I think using those nukes when there's a lot of those uh, high HP, like, ogre enemies. Definitely a good way to go about it. All right. Not enough for the damage upgrade here. That's going to be a little scary. I'm not going to lie. Going into World 3 without the full damage kit is going to be a little spicy. But I believe that I can make it happen. Exclamation point optimism. Oh, it's a moon pie. It's kind of like a moon pie. It's not quite the same. Fun feast of price, of price of Perfection trivia. When I was creating the treasure counter, I had to make treasure messages. The final message that we have now was supposed to be sarcastic, but it ended up being genuine. <laughs> I noticed that, Charlie J. That's like the, the verbiage on exclamation point treasure. So good. Argon Matrix finds a coin with his face on it. Now he can die twice. Is this a reference that I don't understand? Sounds like a like a Death Noteism or something. I should watch Death Note at some point. Viewer beware, by the way, I'm about to talk about something that's not PG-13, but um, during this past week off, like I said, I've had some time to just, you know, be leisurely, and it's the there was the first time in a very long time on one of those days that I just sat down and watched a movie for, like, like I just sat, like, I've, I've listened to movies and stuff in the past while I work on things, but I've, I haven't sat down and actually watch, watched a movie in a very long time. The movie I chose was Midsommar. Uh, which I thought was like an old movie, but it's actually released fairly recently, I'm pretty sure. And it was, uh, I don't, I'm not going to mention anything that happens in the movie, because I don't even think I could give you an adequate summary. 
but it's, uh, you know, it's R-rated, I'm pretty sure, for good reason. It's, it's a horror movie. I liked it. I think I, I think it was fairly fairly well received when it first came out. I think it's from the same guy who made or like the same director who directed Hereditary. Have you ever seen that one? That's another uh, another sort of. Ooh, that was very lucky. <laughs> That's another horror movie classic, a modern classic, I should say. Oh my god. <laughs> what what on earth? Okay, I need I just need a little little more of that, a little more of that, and we'll be in very very good standing here. I need to get four more... Well, that... There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't even get to finish the dang sentence, and they're just dropping a five-piece in my lap. All right. I need to be extremely careful here, though. Because I don't have... I don't have the damage output I would like, which makes me think I'm probably going to have to use this Share Star. In fact, I'm just going to use it. I think I think it's worth it. I'm hoping that I'm just going to get another one, or at the very least, a machine gun upgrade. But, uh... I think just to get through the remainder of this level, hopefully it'll carry me through most of the remainder of this level. Without the excess damage upgrade I would normally have by this point. My god. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab this, I think, and then... Do something like that. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. 42, by the way. 40. That's, that, we got so much money in that level. Alright, quick damage upgrade. Let's go. World 3, baby. Hello and Polo. Welcome, welcome. You can swear before you're 18. Legally, no one can stop you. Do you think there's been any, like, uh, babies out there who whose first word was a swear word? Instead of being, like, mama or dada, they say, you know, something that I can't say. It, it must have happened at some point. I don't, I don't know how, with what frequency something like that would happen. But there's, there's no way it's zero. No way it's a zero percent frequency occurrence. And what, and what do you do as the parents when that happens? It's just... <laughs> you just turn to each other and, okay, this is... I'm gonna grab that and do that. Okay, I think that was wise. Just, I'm just trying to, I'm just like picturing it happening in my head right now. I'm making my own little like, uh, I was going to say fanfic, but it's actually, just, it would just be an original story technically. That's how, that's how online I am at all times that I just think of any form of writing whatsoever as fanfic. <laughs> no, I have coffee in reserve. I wanted to get that, uh, I wanted to get the wagon wheel at the very least. That's fine. Make the most of it here. I don't need to go out of my way for gold. I need to... Get that muscle memory out of here for right now. I have more than enough gold to, to seal the deal on this run. I just need to make it happen now. Little spicy, little spicy. Just stay away from, like, the super extreme corners, right? Yeah, that's that's the time the timer on this level is up so no more monsters can spawn which means that I'm safe to wander wherever my heart desires here different different power up would have been very clutch there going into the final level here the the hardest level in the game with a coffee in my back pocket I mean it's you know serendipitous based on what I was saying earlier in the run but I'll make the most of it I sincerely hope not my older sister couldn't pronounce truck for like like fire truck it came out as oh no my brother who was two at the time said uh said that when he stubbed his toe that was probably my first swear word too my brother mispronounced a lot of words when he was younger and it sounded like he was swearing so much all right going in all right pure focus hours What the? <laughs> that mummy didn't get me? He didn't get me. Chat, chat. Do you, did that mummy... He he didn't touch me literally at all. Literally not what, not whatsoever. All right, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not gonna practice any further beyond that. Just increment my counter and we're going... And we're running it back. <laughs> so focused. 
<laughs> that mummy did not touch me. Run the tape back. I want that. I want a slow motion replay. That mummy did not touch me. I barely grazed his non-existent hairs. that. I think I'm also going to swap that for that. I think the gravestone power-up is definitely a good one to take, at least for the time being. Rip run, but the optimism is, is right there, 100%. Never let the optimism die, baby. I will admit, part of me, when I get to, when I get that close to like beating a Factor's challenge attempt, and then like stumble at the finish line, part of me is like, can I, maybe I'll just carry it on and try and go for like a hard mode pr journey to Prairie King completion instead. Because I honestly think that hard mode, which for those who don't know, after you beat Journey to Prairie King one time, you can restart the game in a hard mode, which causes enemies to have more HP, uh, power ups drop less often. Those imp enemies, those like flying flying devils from World 3 will spawn in every level now. It, it's it's much harder. And I honestly think that getting through hard mode even one time, even like with without like even while dying, might be harder than Fector's Challenge. I don't know if that's a hot take or not. I don't know how many people even have tried to to beat hard mode. Or have beaten hard mode. But I feel like, I feel like, honestly, the percentage of people who have played and beaten hard mode in Journey to the Prairie King is lower than the amount of people who have beaten Fector's Challenge. Because Fector's Challenge at least has an achievement tied to it, so people have a good reason to go for it. Hard mode is just kind of there. There's no achievement, there's no recognition in the game for having done it. It's literally only for bragging rights. Makes me think, like, why would, why would most people even go for it? And that's exactly my bread and butter, so, you know, maybe maybe one day, maybe one day that'll be me. I'll go for... And I think you can, like, go, like, even harder mode as well. I think anytime you beat Journey to Prairie King, like, even on hard mode, it'll it'll upgrade the enemy's HP even further. And it just keeps getting harder and harder until you finally lose. I think that's what it says on the wiki anyway. I don't know if I believe them, because the wiki is, uh, like, like maybe no one's even gotten that far yet. <laughs> There might be a, a, a cap, like New Game Plus 7, where it finally stops getting more difficult. Chloe looks so cute with her bow. I fully agree. I just like getting more and more upgrades with hard mode. I think, uh, yeah, upgrades are like very hard to come by in hard mode. Vector's Challenge exists. My Stardew Valley Chivos. I also I finished all my exams and I'm free of college. Congratulations, Frog Legs. That's very exciting. Sounds like a challenge for Blade. Has Blade beaten Factor's Challenge? I feel like I've asked this question before. I think I think when I asked it, I don't I don't think Blade himself has beaten Factor's Challenge. I know Habu has though. I think Habu can do it like with some semi regularity, which is kind of insane. I mean, not kind of insane, literally, possibly insane. Very, very impressive if Habu can actually consistently no death Prairie King. A lot of it does come down to luck. We all we know that very much just from even the few runs that we've seen today. But uh the skill required for that is immense, regardless. I'm just gonna be out here content to get a single win. I don't I don't need to go for go, go for broke that much. Quick zombie moment. There we go. You know it's a good run when you're when you're shooting spikes because there's not enough enemies on the screen to consistently go after them. You'll love to see it. Oh by the way, happy Father's Day. 
Happy belated Father's Day to all the all of the dads or would be dads out there. You keep doing you. I was unable to call my dad on Father's Day because he was at work, so I'm, I'm going to call him after the stream today when I believe that we're uh, both available. And it'll be a good time. Next try is to try to eat a lucky lunch or whatever it's called. I can definitely do a lucky lunch. Crobus didn't give one to me, so I'd have to go and like get one of my own volition from my own supply. But I'm definitely not opposed to the idea. That's, that's also very nice, on this level especially. Wagon wheel's a little busted. Oh my god. <laughs> what is... Okay, the, 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 the amount of power-ups, not only on this run, the, just the amount of sheer drops. There mu I must be doing something to the game. I must... There must be... Uh, it's the lucky bow. You know what it is? I said it at the very beginning. I've reiterated it a couple times. It's the lucky bow. It's literally right there in the name, the lucky bow. It, it gives us all the luck we need. That was a little close for comfort. Okay. I do see that uh, gold out there, but I'm not going to be able to go for it in all likelihood. That one I will go for, though. For better or for worse. Good stuff. I feel like I'm in... I don't know, today... Don't get me wrong. Every time I've done Journey of the Prairie King throughout the Price of Perfection or elsewise, I've given it my best. I've really given it my all. I, that much I promise you. I've never purposefully... Okay, one time I purposefully threw a run of Prairie King because I was out of time and had to... <laughs> I think it was like at the end of like Finale 2.5 or something like that. Um, because there were bigger things to worry about at the time. Every single time I've I've put all my all into it, but today feels different. I feel like I'm in some kind of some kind of flow state. You know what I mean? It's like I'm seeing the matrix. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I'm gonna embrace this feeling for all that it's worth, and send this run to the moon. Here we go. World one boss ain't nothing. In a very good spot as well going into world two here with uh, both a fire rate upgrade and a damage upgrade. And ten coins, honestly, in, in the back pocket. Ten coins in the wallet. Very, very lovely. The grind is paying off. My third eye is opened. <laughs> It also very much could be to do with the fact that any other time I've done Journey the Prairie King during the challenge, I had so many other things going on, like, in the stream at the time. Like, there's there's never been, until now, a stream solely dedicated to Prairie King. It was always, you know, a footnote to something else, or, you know, sort of a sideshow while, we, while Chloe was sleeping for a hundred years. It's never been the main attraction. And now that it's finally center stage, and now that it's finally what we're all here to see, I feel the need to finally deliver. I've unlocked my true gamer instinct. Just, just call me Shaggy. I'm going Ultra Instinct on you. And ain't nothing gonna slow me down. Oh gosh, I was I try I'm gonna fully admit I tried to look at chat just now and then I looked back and there's four mushrooms closing in around me. That's that's why you don't look at chat during uh during Journey to Prairie King. And chat is fully abreast of that. I hope anyway. Good stuff, good stuff. Do you think that Eric Baroni purposefully part of me really wants to go for the speed upgrade but i'm not going to it's foolhardy do you think eric Baroni purposely made these mushrooms look like the one-up mushrooms from mario just to give you a false sense of security in some like weird 
a primal gamer brain. I don't think it's worked on me. I think it's honestly kind of having the, the reverse effect, where now, if I were to go and play a Mario game and I saw a 1-up, I might actively avoid it. Because they, they remind me of the of the of these guys. <laughs> these guys are so annoying. I've died to them so many times and it's just never <laughs> it never feels good. It always feels like they just sucker punched you. Like there are some deaths in Prairie King where I'll be like, oh that was that was fair, that was fine. You know what I had that one coming. Whenever I got killed by a mushroom, I'm just like, oh my god, how did I let that happen? <laughs> it's a mushroom! It's even worse when you die to a butterfly, though. Which I don't even know if that's what those things are. They got the butterfly wings, I'll grant them that, but they kind of look like little baby wombuses. They got the green skin and everything. Ooh, a little gold right there, I'll take that. Alright, let's carry on. Carry on, my wayward son. Do we have an enemies tier list? I could make an enemies tier list for sure. I'd have to, you know, break it down in my head. I'll say this much, there's no such thing as an easy enemy in Prairie King. Like, those default basic guys in the first, uh, in the first world, the, just the regular green guys, they're the closest you get. But even then, they're not an easy enemy. They're just like, they, like they die in one hit, but there's so many of them. They work as a collective, and they just like flood your brain. Are you gonna flood in your brain? I just need to not let that happen on this, on this level here. And get, I need to get up to 30 coins on this level in order to be in a great spot here. And that's, that's, that's a big help right there. I'll tell you that much without a, without a shadow of a doubt. I can get more of that, please. Just more of that, please. My God, the money, it's its dropping literally on every single side of the map, so it's making it impossible to go and pick it all up. But I actually somehow did it. Ooh, okay. That's good. We're good. I was tempted to use the Sheriff Star in that moment, but I'm glad that I didn't. Saving, saving the Sheriff Star for, at the very least, World 3, if not Fector himself, is better. All right. New attempt. New day. New me. Who dis? Quick uh, hydration break. Thank you, Afon. I hope you're having a great day as well. All right. Every enemy is hard when you're bad. <laughs> or even when you're just new at Prairie King. That's very true. All right, in we go. Exclamation point optimism. Attempt number five. Like I said, like I said, chat, it's not going to ten attempts. We're beating we're beating Fector. Guaranteed deathless before we get the double digits. You can take that to the bank and cash it. Get that in writing. I'll sign, seal, and deliver that to you right at your desk, first thing in the morning. Just watch, just you wait. Chat, does anywhere in the world still use, like, wax stamps to seal things? I was just thinking of, like, the phrase, sign, sealed, and delivered. And, like, the sealed part is always what gets me. Like, you can seal an envelope, obviously, by doing the whole lick thing, which I don't even know if you're supposed to do that anymore. But I still definitely lick the envelope. But they, they like, wax stamps used to be the bread and butter, right, of, like, like rich people in, in Victorian London or something like that. You have a wax stamp, and you, like, literally drip wax onto, like, scalding hot wax onto your piece of paper. And then stamp it shut. That's like so metal. I kind of want to do that for my for the next letter that I send, whenever that might be. Imagine sending letters though. Hey there, green granados. I have some wax seal letters with. Uh, with <laughs> you rarely get to use it though. 
with the face with the face on it. It's, just, it's it's with that colon bracket face there, frog's legs. That's kind of amazing. It's definitely a novelty thing these days. Like it's one of those things that you'd probably go to a, like a convention, and it would be like a nerdy thing that you get. It's like here you can get you can use the wax stamps that they use in Game of Thrones, which I don't know if they use wax stamps in Game of Thrones. I never watched the show. But there's definitely a hundred thousand percent there's merch out there of like the Lannister coat of arms. Which is probably a real thing. Hold on, hold the phone. I can't be I can't be talking about wax stamps here. I just got there we go, okay. <laughs> there's definitely the Lannister coat of arms uh wax stamp though out there. How many families are there? in Game of Thrones, like, like, recognized families that are, that are, like, named and stuff. Like, the only one I know is, like, the Lannisters. And there's, there's definitely another one. There's, there's, I mean, you have to have at least two for them to go mono Yamato and butt heads. But surely there's more than two, right? The Lannisters and, like, the Targaryens or something? Is, is Targaryen the other one? Any Game of Thrones lore experts in chat? I don't know. I don't know how much of a crossover there is between Game of Thrones and uh, and Stardew Valley. Rare zombie buying a power up, by the way. There's many, many families. Many people are saying there's there's too many families in Game of Thrones. Thank you for the five piece gold, by the way. There's gotta be so many freaking characters in Game of Thrones, too. Just, like, not even families, but then you break it down into further into characters. Like, if I were to do a Sporkle quiz to try and name every single Game of Thrones character, how many answers would there be for that quiz? How, how many different positions? I.e., how many characters do you think the average Game of Thrones superfan because you'd probably be a super fan to be looking up quizzes for it on the internet. How many how many characters do you think a Game of Thrones super fan is likely to know on average? I would guess somewhere in the neighborhood of like I want to say like 120. I feel like it's such a big show or like such a big like franchise. It's not just a TV show, it's like also a Song of Ice and Fire, something like that. Which I'm pretty sure is actually just a level from Mario Galaxy. The go off, I guess. Good stuff, okay. How many characters are there? Hundreds? It's not worth it, they're pretty much all dead anyway. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I feel like cryptographic signatures would have replaced wax stamps in practical use cases. The security is incomparable. That's probably pretty accurate, too. Those books were all 500 plus pages long, and most of the characters were named. <laughs> Are you expected to remember all those names? Like, is there ever a situation where you're, uh, you're reading along... And there's a character that's introduced to you on page 20 of the previous book that suddenly pops up on page 399 of uh, of the next book. And you're expected to know them and be like, oh my god, it's the most amazing twist I've ever seen. Because I'm, I'm, If that happened and there was like so much and so many people named in between, I, there's 0% chance that I'm remembering that. I, I like to think of myself as having a decent memory. But not a photographic memory, and certainly not to that extent. <laughs> then again, I guess it's all about how you allocate your memory, right? Treating your brain like it's a like it's a dang computer chip. I definitely have too much memory allocated to random trivia. Random video game trivia. Namely like Nintendo trivia and Stardew related trivia, for sure. 
The Stardew trivia is, is actually coming in handy now that I've, uh, now that Stardew is, you know, something I do for, for some semblance of a job, or for at least part of, part of it, so it's, it's definitely coming in clutch now. I was playing the long con when I was committing all that useless trivia to memory. I wasn't even doing it, like, intentionally, though. I, like, I never sat down and tried to, like, memorize, like, random facts. Like, the fact that, uh, there used to be a character named Dobson, who was, like, supposed to be your antagonist throughout Stardew Valley. I never, like, sat down to myself and said, okay, I'm just gonna memorize that, but it, I, it's just, like, locked in there from the few times that I've read about it or seen it mentioned, and I'm like, how does that... Why is that in my brain? Why did my brain see it fit to leave space for Dobson? Would MLP Chloe be a pony, an alicorn, or a dragon? Possibly possibly draw all three anyway. Oh, you're doing some fan art. Interesting. Chloe would definitely be... I think she'd just be like an earth pony, honestly. Guaranteed. Good old Dobson. He's the dude... He's got like a, like a blue blazer and a... like a sweater vest and like, and like the... and like the most sleek glasses I've ever seen on an... on a pixelated individual. Dobson kind of drippy. I'm not gonna lie. They have elements. I mean, for since we're talking, since you're talking My Little Pony, there's the there's there's many different kinds of pony. You got your Earth Pony, you got your Pegasus, you got your Unicorn, you got your Alicorn, you got your Crystal Pony, you got your Kirin, you got your Dragon, you got your um, you got your Windigos. You've got oh geez, how 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 far can I go with this? You got chimeras you got uh manticores these, these are not no longer ponies now i'm just naming creatures that are in the show you've got draconic Y. you've got uh i think basilisks are in there somewhere no cockatrice it was definitely cockatrice not i mean maybe basilisks as well you got sirens there, there's a whole gamut of 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 my little pony lore characters to choose from The Umbra. The Umbra, that's a deep cut. Pretty sure. And I haven't thought about that in so long. I definitely do want to watch uh, or rewatch Friendship is Magic at some point. I've always thought that if I were to have like a uh, like a child then I would, like, show them Friendship is Magic episodes because, like, I enjoy them from an entertainment value perspective and I like the lore and stuff of the world. But they also do have just really good messages that I think are, uh, and they, I think they sort of work them into the narrative most of the time in a very elegant and fun way. Not only is it, like, a show that you can enjoy for its own merits, but it's also, like, does its job as a children's show of, like, teaching children things. Very cool stuff. I'm gonna skip... I'm gonna, we're, we're skipping this uh, upgrade shop here, unfortunately. We want to try and get up to 30 coins. Modern cryptography is pretty crazy and worth getting into. You're telling me. Most of my... Ex I, I have a very limited knowledge and experience with uh, cryptography. Like, very, very, very surface-level stuff. Um, the one that always sticks out to me... Like, some of the knowledge that always sticks out to me is... Back when I was doing my very first computer science course. Like, CS50 from Harvard. And just, like, an online course that I'm pretty sure, like, anyone can take if you pay for it. There was... One of, one of the assignments involved, like, or, like, sort like, revolved around cryptography, I should say. And I still remember, like, having to write a program in C to, like, encode messages in both Caesar ciphers and Visionaire ciphers, which I'm sure are, like, I think they're, they're like, two of the most basic ciphers that you can possibly use. I think Visionaire is, like, it, it used to be, like, really, really good, but then people figured it out, and then obviously it's, like, it's much easier to crack nowadays. It's, like, a really old one. I'm sure cryptography has, has advanced quite a bit since then. I'm certainly hoping that Google is not encoding my passwords as in, using the Visionaire ciphers. I'll tell you that right now. 
but it's fun. It's fun, and I think it's a good way to to learn some of that stuff too. Some learn some of the principles of uh, of programming. All right, twenty gold. That's at least enough for a, a fire rate upgrade, if nothing else, at the next shop. But I really want that damage upgrade. Really, really want the damage upgrade. Don't really remember any of the cartoons you watched. I I remember a few of the cartoons I've watched, mostly in like more recent days. Like obviously, Friendship is Magic is up there, the ones I remember, and then I remember Steven Universe. That one's that one stuck with, with me for a while. Uh, I got Shira, Amphibia. Uh, uh, stop! Stop! I'm trying to I'm trying to wax n nostalgic about about some cartoons here, okay? Even though it's not really... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Even though it's not really nostalgia, because, like, most of the cartoons that I remember so fondly are not ones from my childhood. I feel like most of the best... Oh, gosh. I feel like most of the best uh, cartoons from when I was a child, like in the 90s and early 2000s, are ones that I didn't watch. With the exception of Kim Possible, that, th that, that show still bangs, I'm pretty sure. Actually, granted, I haven't watched Kim Possible in a very long time, but I, f I have to imagine that it still holds up. At least to a certain extent. Great shape here, great shape. I'm going to grab that real quick. Make some use of it, hopefully. That's also very good. This That's one of the nice things about the... Uh, about this uh, tombstone power, is that not only does it give you the invincibility, but it makes, like, the invincibility makes it so that you can grab the power-ups that much more easily and more carefree, so that by the time you're out of the invincibility phase of and uh, done with the power-up, you probably have another power-up already on the go. All right, grab me that. And I mean, I guess I'll take this, even though it doesn't really matter for the, for the boss of this world. as you can kind of plainly see here. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. I'm not sure if this, it looks like I'm pretty well lined up. Gotta watch for a single stray bullet though. Yo, he's making it easy this time. Easy peasy, putting in the breezy. All right, good stuff. Have I watched The Owl House? I have watched the first season of The Owl House. I haven't caught up since, since then, but I would definitely like to. Same with Amphibia. Actually, I've watched the first two seasons of, of Amphibia, I think. Tried watching Amphibia, but the pacing of the first episode or two kind of bugged me. Yeah, I mean, pacing... I feel like with any show of that type, pacing can be an issue, especially early on. I found that a lot, but uh, with Amphibia, for sure, it definitely, I think, evens out in the end. There's there's still a lot of filler, don't get me wrong. But the filler, they even, like, find ways to, to work it into, to, like, the overarching narrative, too. I think it's I think it's well worth a watch. If you're into that sort of thing. Give me that, please. If you're into that sort of show, that sort of narrative. And if not, hey, no worries. I definitely am of the opinion that, like, a show ideally should hook you from the very beginning. And anytime, like, someone recommends me a show, like, oh, it's such a great show, but you have to, like, get past the first, like, five or ten episodes or whatever in order to in order to get to, like, the really good stuff. And I'm like, just, can, can you just give it to me now, though? <laughs> Why can't they just make the first five or ten episodes, like, good? And I get it, you have to, you have to establish the characters and the world, and it's, it's generally a slower pacing and something, you know, something that you're less likely to be sinking your teeth into when you come back to it, to watch, to, like, rewatch it. Is, is a good way to go about that, to make it, uh, to establish that world. I, like, laying that groundwork is a very boring but necessary part of making a good show, I think. So it's a bit of a catch-22 that you really want to get to the good stuff right away, but you're not invested in anything right away. So how can any of it be as good as, like, the final season of a show, for instance? All right. No upgrade potential, unfortunately. I mean, I could buy the speed upgrade. I think I'm going to buy the speed upgrade. Might have saved me from that mummy on one of those previous runs. And then I'll see if maybe, hopefully, I can get the uh, the final fire rate upgrade here, or the next fire rate upgrade. 
He really just stands there and takes bullets, huh? You talking about the boss or you talking about me? I'm doing some good dodges. Maybe my time playing 20 minutes till dawn recently is uh, is helping out with that some, I don't know. Fun game, by the way. Highly recommend it if you're into games that might be similar to Prairie King, but not, it, like, more fleshed out, obviously. Prairie King is very much not a standalone game that you could put up, put up for, like, $5 on Steam. Actually, you, you could probably get away with putting this up for, like, $5 on Steam. Maybe give it a few extra levels, another world or two. I'd buy it. Ooh, give me that, please. Alright, let's get those guys out of here. That guy was unnerving me. The fact that it was just like a single mummy sitting in the corner there. I'm, I'm gonna go with this, I think, because I don't like being in this corner. No one puts Argon in the corner. No one puts Chloe in the corner is probably better because of the alliteration. I can get that last piece. I mean, I, I'm gonna get more money. There's, there's just no doubt about that in my mind. I will get more money one way or another. I don't like being this close to the corner. I, I want that. I really want that. Oh, gosh. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. And I'm going to die. Don't. <laughs> optimism. Optimism. There, there was a brief moment there. I probably didn't even get caught by the, by the command where optimism fell to about 98%. We're back from that, though. We're back from that. We're in good shape here. We're in good standing. All right. 26 gold. That's more than enough. More than enough. All right, third attempt I think today at uh, at this penultimate level. Let's send it. OMG, he's cracked. Hello, by the way, Gale. Reminds me of my Vampire Survivors addiction. I never played Vampire Survivors. I think I would like it if I did play it though, especially if it's anything like Twenty Minutes Till Dawn. But I've heard that Twenty Minutes Till Dawn is the better incarnation of that type of game. Whether that actually holds water, I guess, depends on your own subjective perspective. But just based on, you know, footage and stuff I've seen, I think that's... I'd probably fall into that camp. Don't worry about the money. Worry about that, though. Worry about that. Save that. It would be clutch be like ultra omega clutch everyone chill out for a second though I mean, that's pretty nice. Okay. All right. Everyone cool it. Everyone cool it for a second, okay? Cool it for a second. Let's, let's all take a moment to collect ourselves, all right? Let's take a moment and just appreciate this moment for what it's worth. My hands are a little electric. I gotta calm down. I just have to breathe. I just have to breathe. I've made it to Fector exactly one time before in, during the challenge on like an actual live Fector's challenge run. And I died almost instantly. Exclamation point optimism though. Exclamation point optimism. We can do this. I can do this. I just have to focus. I've got the machine gun power up. I just have to secure the W here, okay? We're going in. We're going in. I've got the I've got the I've got the machine gun. Just gotta line it up. Something like that. Please. Please is this it? Is this it, Chad? Is that it? Is that it? Did I do it? I didn't get a steam achievement yet. Do I have to I gotta collect this? Gotta collect this? Is that it? Best final boss of all time, by the way. 
Yo, achievement unlocked. Vector challenge. Wait, hold on. You can, you might be able to see it if I do that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna switch back to Stardew just in case, but you might not have seen that in time. <laughs> oh gosh, that was it. 100% optimism. Only five attempts this stream. Are you actually kidding me? We were, we were that close this whole time to just doing it, to just beating Fector's challenge? Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. The end. Chat. I was here. Spam it in chat. Were you? I was here. All caps. Triple exclamation points. The whole nine yards. I couldn't have done it without you, chat, without your constant support and, uh, <laughs> and, and generosity and patience. Nightbot with the spam, though. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, off on, I think, was for the, for the, three, the three months. Member for three months. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, that's another feather in Chloe's cap right there. That's another feather in Chloe's cap. Price of perfection. With a little Fector's Challenge thrown on top. How about that? But hey, you know, what, you know what they say? Why stop there? Press button for a more difficult journey. It doesn't even say press a button or press any button. It just says press button for a more difficult journey. I'll give it, I'll give it, I'll give it a little whirl. I'll give it a little whirl. Hello to the lurkers, by the way. <laughs> Man, that's a, that's a load off my mind though. Like it was it was a bit of a monkey on my back for sure since the end of the since the end of um the price of perfection. I was like I did it and I'm very happy with how it came out, but Vector's challenge was just sitting right there staring at me in the face and I couldn't have imagined that it would have gotten like l literally less than 2 hours into the stream. Literally less than 2 hours into the stream, it's actually insane. Thank you, Koji, for the $5 super chat and the, and the sticker. I love it. I love it. Did you get the achievement? I did get the achievement. That's the second last achievement I need for all of Stardew Valley, for the record. Press a button for a more difficult journey. I think I will. Hard mode completion now. I make no promises. But uh, we're, we're well kitted out for it, at the very least. The fact that those imps take two hits is a little spooky, but you know what? <laughs> quick, quick victory lap. Let's just let's just do a little victory lap here. What do you say, chat? What's the last one? Oh, what's the last achievement that I need? I have to <laughs> I have to be married with two kids. <laughs> That's the only achievement I don't have is is having a full house of like being like married and having two kids. I have a I have a file where I'm married with one kid, but I never went the rest of the way to get two kids. Haley, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's uh, maybe that's that'll be you know the grand magnum opus or the f the final 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 finale for the price of perfection. Married with two kids with Haley. <laughs> Yo, Elaine, thank you so much for the generosity, Laney Green. The fifty dollars super chat. You didn't have to do that. Thank you very much. That's uh, that's awesome. The support is greatly greatly appreciated. That's insane. Oh man, now I'm just now I'm just riding high off of <laughs> off of that win. And I just don't know. I mean, we'll see how far. I, I like I said in the past, like earlier like I said previously, I fully think that uh, that hard mode is harder than Factor's challenges. Now I just got to put my money where my mouth is, right? Haley always has the best words from the moment. What'd she say? She says, everything is dying. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Are you looking at the screen right now? Everything is dying. So true. Haley in chat confirmed. Hard mode is hard. Surprise. I just think that anytime anyone talks about Journey of the Prairie King, that it's always about Fector's Challenge. You know, like, it, like beating Fector's Challenge is the be-all, end-all. I guess I don't need this attempts counter on the screen anymore either. That is, that is our final number of attempts there, though. Five attempts for Fector's Challenge. Not too shabby. I actually really would like that extra life because I'm not concerned about not dying here. I'm just concerned about winning. Everyone always talks about Fector's Challenge, Deathless. Nobody ever talks about Hard Mode Prairie King. It's the sleeper challenge of Stardew Valley. It really is. 
That and Leap a Lot's No Crafting Run, that's also heavily slept on challenge. More people need to know about that. Definitely go check out Leap's channel, it's a, it's a good time. You love supporting great content? Thank you very much, Laney. That, mean, that means a lot to me. I just do my best. I just, I'm just humble. I'm just your humble servant. In the, in the immortal words of Aaron Burr. I'm honored to be your obedient servant. Something like that. Alright, good stuff. What do I have enough for here? I could get the final fire rate upgrade or another speed upgrade. I mean, it's not even a question. Literally not even a question. Wonder what happens when you beat hard mode? It, it literally... Uh, if the wiki is to be believed, Simber, if the wiki is to be believed, um, it just unlocks harder mode. <laughs> like, hard mode just keeps getting harder and harder until you die, I'm pretty sure. Until you get a game over. That's what it says on the wiki, and I have no reason to doubt it. But, you know what? We're, we're nothing if not start, start you scientists in a certain capacity. Why not test it right now? Just test it now, and uh, and then we can all stop wondering. Excuse you. Ooh, ooh! Okay, give me that, give me that, please. My The machine gun! <laughs> the, look how fast this machine gun shoots with, like, fully upgraded, uh... Like, fire rate upgrades. Like, a fully upgraded gun. Actually insane. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, give me that, please. Thank you. This is ridiculous. By the way, chat, I do, I do realize in some part of me that the, the way Fector finally did go down in, in his final fight, in his last breath, was a bit anticlimactic with the, uh, with the machine gun strat. But hopefully that wasn't, hopefully it didn't kill the moment for you. I think it's, I mean, it's a, it's definitely a, a fully fair thing. Some people would call it cheese. I would call it just clever strategizing, personally. I think it's a fully adequate strategy, especially because I was definitely not guaranteed to have that machine gun by the end. But I kind of would like to do another one where I actually, you know, go mano a mano with Vector. Arterer mode. Vector chug bullets. Thank you, Violetto. Yeah, only, f only five attempts. Only five attempts. Unreal. I should make a command for that or something. <laughs> you deserve the win. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't feel necessarily like I deserve the win. I feel like I earned the win, but maybe there's maybe not that much of a difference between those two statements other than semantic. My god. <laughs> It's literally just a laminar stream of bullets. Look at this. I'm pretty sure power-ups last a lot, like, less time as well in hard mode here. That definitely seems to be... There definitely seems to be a noticeable drop-off in the amount of time that that machine gun lasted compared to what I'm used to. Which is fine, you know. Hopefully, I don't know how if that's going to be true for this one. Like, if the music's just going to cut out randomly when I'm not ready for it to. <laughs> All right, good stuff. I told you though, I was I'm in this like weird flow state. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm just all Fector's challenged out of my mind today. I'm I'm Prairie King ready. Maybe it literally is all that time playing uh, 20 minutes till dawn. I don't even know. They're similar games, but I don't think similar enough that it's like super transferable skills. Not as transferable skills as, like, the Binding of Isaac or something like that, I don't think. <laughs> we got a few enemies. Ooh, gosh, that guy came, came to me like a bat out of hell. Kind of literally. I definitely want enough money to get the final damage upgrade. I think that's going to be basically necessary if I want a hope in hell in the, in the next couple worlds. Like, not having this, the final damage upgrade for World 2 of Harder Mode here is going to be a little spooky. Having the having the full DPS, or full, not DPS, but full uh, gun upgrade is very nice. Yeah, see, then you can just buy, like, a power up there. Um, I'm going to save up. I don't think we go for the speed upgrade. I think we just go for the damage upgrade. Save up for that.
you're cracked tonight. Thank you, Clover. You didn't miss anything before before Factor. We've we've literally just been playing Prairie King. We did five attempts. Attempt five was was the one where we finally got him. Speaking of, I should actually get that off the screen at the next available opportunity here. Do the bosses still guaranteed drop one ups in this uh, in harder mode or in hard mode here? I guess we're gonna find out. I he definitely didn't seem to get much of an HP buff. I'll tell you that right now. He's kind of melting. Is this hard mode? This is indeed hard mode, as you can tell by no life drops on there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill the attempts counter right there because we're off of off of the attempts. We officially beat Fector's challenge. And now we just carry on to see what other amazing, amazingness waits at the end of uh, of hard mode here. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. I gotta. Sorry, chat. I was I had like clicked on a window and it was like over. It was like blocking my chat. All right, continue journey. You missed it. It's all right, Jay Nuggets. I mean, the the vod is still there. Maybe I'll just do it for you again right here. Maybe I'll just uh quick quick Factor's challenge of uh of hard mode. No big deal. I don't think I've died yet, have I? Chat, have I died in hard mode yet? I know I'm, like, just asking for it. I'm just begging the game to... to throw as many mushrooms at me as it possibly can in this exact moment. Just completely flood my brain. But I beat Infector's Challenge, so the stress is kind of off. I would love to beat hard mode, but, you know, there's no achievement tied to it, so... <laughs> Nothing except my own personal gratification. And yours, maybe. I'm a little scared about how many of those, like, red imp guys are going to spawn in World 3. <laughs> Given that they're, like, spawning in, in this level, in, like, these levels as well. That's very nice. They're not spawning with, like, great frequency in these levels, but every... Ooh, that's a this man. We might actually get enough for the uh, next damage upgrade. Probably not before this next shop here, but uh, before the next next shop maybe. Good stuff. That's good eats. All right, no damage upgrade. We only need eight more coins though. Been grinding Junimo Carp, but still haven't beaten it. I believe in you, Simber. Gotten to the final level five to ten times, though. That was totally me. <laughs> You're worried about the mummies? El L L Laney Green? <laughs> Elaine Are you okay if I call you Elaine, by the way? Because I know you changed your name, so I don't want to, like, dead name you or anything. Like, you changed your YouTube name, but... I don't want to... I just... I don't, I don't know if I've ever clar clarified that. I always just call you Elaine, but hopefully you're alright with that. Either way, I'm with you. The mummies are going to be very scary if I don't have the damage upgrade uh, by then. Because then they're gonna, they're gonna take like even with the full damage upgrade, I think those mummies are gonna take like three hits, <laughs> and there's just gonna be walls and walls of them. It's gonna be it's gonna be a scary sight. Okay, well there goes the Factor's challenge of uh <laughs> of hard mode, but that's okay. No one was expecting that to be a real thing. I don't think, least of all me. The lane is fine. Good to hear. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I made it... Because I, I did do a hard mode run at some point during the Price of Perfection. Like, I, I made one one go of it. They're running all over the place, dude. And I think this is the level that I made it to. Either this or the next level is the one that I died on, I'm pretty sure. On my very first hard mode attempt. Give me that, give me that, please, please. Okay, we're good. That's 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 okay. We got we got enough for the damage upgrade. I just need to make it to the next shop now. If I can make it to the next shop. I'm pretty happy with my positioning because the only thing we'll be missing as far as like upgrades and stuff go is the speed upgrade. The like the final speed. Well, actually, I think we might have two more speed upgrades to get. Either way. Yeah. Oh, I missed the one up. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. I missed the one up. Oh my gosh. It's alright. Optimism is like 76%. What are you talking about? It's 100% still. Don't you trust Nightbot? You don't think we got the hard mode mummies? What about now? Now that I have, uh... 
If I can if I can make it past this this level and get the damage upgrade, do you think I have the hard mode mummies then? Because that's if I get the damage upgrade here, that's a fully upgraded gun and a sheriff star in reserve. How could I not have the mummies? At least at the very beginning, right? But in order to test that, I'm gonna need to actually get there first. <laughs> this is gonna be a little dicey. Emphasis on the dicey, less on the on the little part. My good god. Okay, that was that was to be expected. You gotta I gotta use that sheriff star if worse comes to worse. If push comes to shove like that again. I can't be afraid. I cannot be afraid to do it. That was bad. That was bad. I used the power up and still got got. Alright, this might be where this challenge has come to die. <laughs> I'm gonna give it my all, I always do. 100 percent optimism, but. No, no, no buts, no buts. 100% optimism. I live by the creed, I die by the creed. I just gotta focus. I just gotta focus. That's all there is to it. Welcome to full focus hours. Population me. Just kidding. How long am I going to stream? I mean, the plan was to stream for four hours, and then four hours again, and again, and again, until I beat Factor's Challenge. But, turns out optimism, exclamation point optimism, was actually the key all along. Oh, what? I tried to... I, chat, I, I'm going to... Right hand to the sky. I was trying my hardest. I, I, I mashed that space bar to use my power up. I really mashed it, I promise you that. It's all good, though. That's Vector's challenge done, baby. Alright, well... <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do, chat. Maybe as a reward, we can go spend more money. Spend more money on stuff? I mean, honestly... That was the last side goal that I had to do for my own, like, sanity and the price of perfection. There are other things I want to do. Marry Haley. That's it's not in the cards right now, unfortunately. I'm not going to evict Krobus, but don't worry, I had plans for it. Have we finally... Chat. Chat. All right, we're putting it up to a vote. Putting it up to a vote right now. What brought you so... What have you bought so far? Just the bow? That's... that's th the only thing we bought is the bow in the post credit sequence. All right. Have we earned uh, the backpack upgrades? Yes or no? Put it up to a poll. Horse? I, I want to wait until I'm married to Haley. With, with, with my eventual plan for that, to buy a horse. I do not own a horse, and I will not own a horse until, until Haley's in the picture, I don't think. Have we earned the backpack upgrade finally? Buy one of each thing available for purchase. I think it's time. I think I think you guys are right. Let's go on. Let's go on a spending spree. Let's go on a little bit of a spending spree here. Hello, Timby. By the way, you know I'm gonna water Timby, but it's been a little while. Nightbot's reminding me to hydrate, but not for me. Buy a sunflower seed? I could buy another movie ticket and take Krobus to the movies. Because we do have a single movie ticket from the from the garbage, I'm pretty sure. That can be mine, and then I can buy one for Krobus. We could do that. If he wants to go to the movie. I don't know what movie is playing right now. We'll have to go check that out. Mail? We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Will I do the community upgrades? That's also a good idea, honestly. Buy a bus journey? Take the bus for the first time ever? I mean, I didn't even... I, did, I expected this to be a full a full Prairie King stream. But you know what? I'm willing to... I'm willing to compromise here and do some extra stuff as well. Alright, we're going in. Chat. For so long... These 12 slots have been our friends for so long. Let me end, let me end the poll. Clean 81% of, of people want to see... Want to see it happen. I'm also gonna... You know what? Before I get into this too much, I'm also gonna change the. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have a thumbnail to up to update to, but I'm, I am gonna change the title of this because it's not Factor's Challenge attempts anymore. Um, 
You know what? We're just going to make it. Price of perfection. Number 76. Because there's been 75 episodes, and this is the 76th, technically. It's just like a bonus episode right now, though. All right. The Sloths will be so happy to have so many new friends. Can we get some Argon love or hearts, whatever you can, in chat? Some O7s, whatever. Any appreciation you can offer to these 12 slots. For for so long, our lonely little backpack has sat unupgraded. It's been a, it's like a knapsack that you take to kindergarten. And we've used that through the entirety of the community center. We've used it for the, all of Skull Cavern, for all of Ginger Island. Literally everything has been within these 12 slots. And now, finally, they've they've earned some rest. They've earned some breathing room. OG backpack, it's time to finally upgrade. The backpack upgrade to 24 slots, doubling the amount of inventory space that we have on this challenge. 2,000 gold was all that stood between us and a lot more convenience. There it is. And immediately, immediately the big blue bag, you got the large pack, your inventory space has increased to 24. How many people have ever seen that after getting 100% perfection? <laughs> Backpack upgrade, 36 slots. Let's not belabor the point. We're just going in. We're going in. You can tell that it's past the challenge because Chloe's wearing her lucky bow. You got the, lucky, the deluxe pack, your inventory space has increased to 36. My god. There's so much space. There's so much room, chat. Nobody believed you could do it with 12 slots. I was a little concerned about Ginger Island with the 12 slots for sure. But uh, there it is. New slots. I can I can press tab and like go between all the different bars and stuff. Amazing. So much room for activities, exactly. I think... We're also due for this. We're due for a little bit of a leisurely bus ride. How do you guys feel about a leisurely bus ride to the desert? It's only 500 gold. Only 500 gold. I've got the biggest, dopiest smile on my face right now. My front yard's a mess. All right, don't, don't ask me about that, Pam. Buy a ticket to Calico Desert for 500 gold. Literally, this one menu here, just pressing yes on this one menu, would have saved us months. It would have saved months of progress, of, of time, in searching for the cactus fruit, Ar Ex Argon Cactus. Buy a ticket to Calico Desert for 500 gold. Literally all, that's all that stood, that's, that's the reason we had to go out of our way to get a cactus fruit, was this right here. That's it. What about the return scepter? That's like two million gold, isn't it? <laughs> I don't got the I don't got the money for it. Hello, Sandy, my old friend. Do you like my new bow? Just me alone in this big old shop. Are you hinting at something? Except for that creepy guy in the back. Yo, chat. While we're here, real quick, let's get it. Let's get a read from what I. I've never really internalized that this face exists in Stardew Valley. File on Chloe. Steps taken, 1,079,071. Gifts given, 557. Days in Stardew Valley, 12,432. What the heck? 12,000 days. 12,432 days? Is that, that's that's 111 years, I guess. Almost to the, to the dot. Holy moly. Dirt hoed. 2,511, that seems really low. <laughs> items crafted, 4834. Items cooked. Trash recycled, does it tell me trash searched? Monsters slain, 6214. Fish caught, 1759. Lines cast. Seeds sown and items shipped. 18,973 items shipped. I missed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Did I, did I miss 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Oh, I did. I guess I'll just have to go for... Uh, Six seven eight nine zero. That's pretty cool. All right, one time chat, one time.
All right. I promised one. I'm I'm sticking to one. I'm sticking to one. That's that's called that's called character development right there. That's my character arc. All right. Oh no, spoilers. I didn't watch the finale yet. Simber, it's okay. It's all good. As long as you're okay with the spoilers, I guess. That's a lie, and you know it. <laughs> Alright, returning to Stardew Valley. Pam's actually going to drive us back to Stardew Valley. It's all Chloe's been driving this bus every single day. This is the first time Pam's ever gotten to drive the bus. Except when she takes Emily to the desert, I guess. Alright. We did also... All right, dude. What I, you know what? We bought we bought the lucky bow from the hat mouse. But I will I will say the hat mouse has many more hats available. Let's go load up on some hats. Now that I've got I've got every achievement in the game, right? So yeah, all these achievements, each one of them unlocks a hat at hat mouse. Now I get to go indulge. Hatmouse has been probably the the most chat's most favorite character that has done literally nothing throughout the entire challenge. Everyone's been waiting so long for this moment. Just joined. What the heck are you doing with that in your hotbar? Welcome, Oscar. We're just uh we're we're just enjoying post perfection life right now. All right. Hats. Hiya, Poke. Did you bring coins? Good. Me sell hats. We got many coins. These these coins, we got to dust them off a little bit. All right. And we have the inventory space to hold all the hats. Good old cap. Cool cap. I'm going to buy another lucky bow. I don't even care. Bowler hat. Sombrero. Cowboy hat. I'm just going. I'm going buck wild. All this money spent. All all this blasphemous money spending. Tiara, Santa hat, earmuffs from Castle Village, delicate bow, the plum chapeau, archer's cap. I feel like I've never seen that in my life. Drop a clip. That's literally two pixels. Hunter's cap. Daisy, give me your answer. Do it looks like an egg. Trucker hat. Gnome's cap. Southwester. I think I already have the Southwester, maybe. Official cap. Eye patch. Eye for an eye, maybe. R. Watermelon band. It, there's so many hats. Blue bonnet. The polka bow. The chicken mask. The cow poke hat. The cow gap. How are there so many hats in this game? The goblin mask. Straw hat I already own. Sailor's cap I already own from... Uh, where did I get that from? That was from like the ice festival or something like that. 500 gold per pixel. Chef's hat. Elegant turban. And that's it. I didn't know the hat mouse had so much... Had so much... So much loot. Look at this. We're, we're all, we almost had a full inventory of just hats. Alright. Am I able to like... Quick, work quickly... Alright, quick fashion show. Quick fashion show. The good old cap. That's... <laughs> Looks like I'm going to a baseball game. Uh, Lucky Bow, we all know that one, obviously. What the heck? She's so cool. Hello, fellow kids. How do you do? All right, we go bowler hat now. Give that henchman a run for his money. Sombrero. If I, if I could get a matching outfit for this, that would be absolutely be that would be, that would be a pretty good outfit. Cowboy hat. We got the deluxe cowboy hat, so this one's a little late to the party. Now buy a dresser. Oh my god. You're so right. That's so cute! The butterfly bow is actually so cute. Look at that. She's adorable. Mouse ears. Just me and my best friend, the hat mouse, chilling. So kawaii. Alright, also speaking of kawaii. Chloe is now a cat girl. Get your fan art drawn while you can. Little tiara. Ooh. The queen of the land. Santa hat. Respect to the Feast of the Winter Star. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a big player in this challenge for sure. Earmuffs. Are those Beats by Dre? Delicate bow. 
also very cute. It's a nice contrast to the to the dark hair there. I like that. I love I love the little bows. The plum chapeau. What the heck? The side profile actually made me almost fall out of my chair. That's so good. Oh, the back profile has got like a whole bit. I didn't know what the like. Just looking at it from this angle is like kind of like what the heck is going on. And then you get this, and she's like boom. That's so beautiful. That's sleek. All right, where are we up to? Uh, Archer's cap. Literally Robin Hood. <laughs> Look, I'm ready to go to Chuck E. Cheese today. All right. Um, Tropic clip, two pixels. That's actually two pixels, though. That's just that's just two pixels. You can't even tell she's wearing anything. It's like I think there's like a chat. I think there's like a dead pixel on my screen. Maybe two of them, like right here. You see that? There's a dead pixel on my monitor. Quick little hunter's cap. It, that's the same hat. It's just it's just this hat, right? Basically. All right, uh, Daisy, give me your answer, dude. It really does look like a fried egg, huh? It do be looking like a fried egg, so distinguished. You want the kitty hat, though? I don't know what achievement unlocks it, but the Stardew Wiki is probably your friend on that one. All right, trucker hat. Looking like we're ready to drive down the I-9. A thousand dollars for two pixels. Look at our money spent, by the way. Uh, gnome's cap. This actually goes well with our green tunic, right? Quick Zelda cosplay moment. Inside, please. I should probably do it inside where it's not snowing. You're right. Go find a living hat for the rest of the stream. That is a grind that I might undertake at some point. I'm gonna go inside. I know the I know the exact perfect place to go to to model all this fa all this crucial fashion. Right over to my girlfriend's house. All right. What else we got here? The Sal Wester. Just a piece of rubber. It's, it's the literal pla that's the that's the, this is the hat that the kid from it wears before he gets sucked into the sewer drain, right? Official cap. I can see Mayor Lewis wearing this. It, it is very officious. Is I'm a, I'm the postman. Hey yo, eye patch. Our mate. Oh Chloe. Chloe going into her post apocalyptic arc. Going full. Full steampunk era or pirate, alternatively. <laughs> the catalog. I will. I will probably get the furniture catalog at some point here. Watermelon band. Watermelon band, though. Actually, maybe the cutest. Next, next to the lucky bow. Blue bonnet. Isn't this like a Shawnee Do original, or is this Habu? This is Habu, right? Habu loves his blue bonnet. All right. Oka bow. Kind of, kind of an off-brand Lucky Bow, not gonna lie. Kind of drippy. Chicken mask. I mean, what did I expect? <laughs> the side profile of the chicken mask is so good. Oh my god. You got, you got a little feather at the top that you can just see from behind. A blueberry. <laughs> Imagine you come up to Chloe from behind. You're like, hey, how's it going, girl? She turns around, and that's what you get. Alpo cat. It's like, this is just like weird... Weird camo hat. How are you doing, Haley? If you see Alex, could you tell him I'm busy today? She's loving the hat. Cow gal hat. For matching. Match match my skirt to her hat. Scratch that, reverse it. It's Habu. <laughs> Little goblin mask. <laughs> Don't let Haley see me like this. <laughs> Oh my god, this is, this is, I think if you wear this hat, this hat for long enough, this mask, then you, uh, the henchman becomes like an unlockable romantic partner in the game. Chef hat. I, I, I'm a fan, but it also does obscure literally all of Chloe's hair, which is, I'm less of a fan of. And finally, the elegant turban. Pretty elegant, not gonna lie. Maybe a little, a little bulky for my liking. Lucky bow. Gotta be it. There is one more hat we can go and claim right now, right? 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking, chat? So creepy. The goblin mask. Chad, are you thinking what I'm thinking? There's there's a, there's a single final hat to go claim. Actually, there might there might there's probably more than one hat to go claim, but there's at least one more hat to go claim. Isn't it like up here? Like if I go this way, and then I go like I gotta go to the volcano, right? Or do I? There's, do I have to do something else to unlock this, or is this just is this just gonna be here? It's so dark. I, I don't have my rings on anymore. <laughs> like, isn't there? Uh, there's like, yeah, it's this guy right here, looking like straight out of Mother Three. There we go. Little squirrel time, exactly. I received a question mark, question mark, question mark, exclamation point. Yo, my favorite item in the game. He's so satisfied with himself right there. Quick concerned eight moment. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I love that. I love I love how small like look at the eyebrows when you look at, look at the side profile like that. Why do the eyebrows go they'll go the eyebrows 100% go up. Look, he's like he's just like chilling here. He's like, "Oh, yeah, I'm cool." Yeah, and he's like, "Ooh, this is like when you tap <laughs> like like all right, so this is this is the this is like at the start screen when you first first boot up Stardew Valley, Concerned Dave's just chilling, smiling at you. And then you boop him on the nose and he's like, "Oh." I'm gonna, not gonna lie, the darkness of this kind of makes this this weird mask a creepy pasta. It's almost uh, it's almost Five Nights at Freddy esque. That that's very creepy right there. Where you can't even see the eyes. It's the creator of the game. Yeah, this this is the avatar of the creator of Stardew Valley. This mask. I definitely need to get a dresser at some point here. You know what? You know what I should do. What I really should do before the year is out. We got one last space. I mean, let's 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 get this. We got one last space here. This year 111, the official final year of the Prize Perfection Challenge. It wouldn't be complete unless I did this. Now that I've beaten Factor's Challenge, I think I can comfortably and confidently make use of this. It's time, chat. Get ready, get ready. Were you here? Were you here? There's still more to be done on Frugal Farm. Don't get me wrong. But the point of this stream was to finally achieve the one goal that I had sought for so long to achieve, what my final side goal. And with that, I think I can confidently say that true perfection has been achieved. Welcome the Statue of True Perfection. All of our efforts, our turmoil, our suffering, all the time invested in this challenge, encapsulated in a single kitty statue. We've done it. Let's take it home. Let's take it home. Yo, great song to end it off on too. You can you get to hang out here front and center. I don't even know what the heck this thing does. Does it do anything good? Either way. I think that's a good enough spot as any to end the day off on. And also, this is the 28th day of winter, year 111. Chat, happy new year. Sing it with me. Happy new year. Let's go into year 112 together. There we go. Is it's it's pulsating? Help, I'm scared. Somebody send help. This thing's gonna blow. Oh, it gives me a prismatic shard. Prismatic shard every day? No big deal. 
What does Haley have to say about that? Exclamation point Haley. What's my plan for the new year, Chloe? I mean, that, that statement is more profound than I ever would have thought. Sleep on it, you'll see. Alright, well... I think, honestly, I didn't I didn't know how long the stream was gonna go. And I have other things that I want to do on this on this farm. Don't get me wrong, but I think I'm gonna call it there for today. Bit of a shorter stream, but I want to make sure I do the rest of the stuff that I want to do in this farm justice. I don't want to just throw things in willy-nilly here. We got ourselves a nice collection of hats. <laughs> What did Haley say? I should have brought my camera. She's she's come around. She's come around to the prismatic. How, do you think you'll ever have a pony on your farm? She also says. Exclamation point horse. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Here in year 112. The post-challenge year for the price of perfection. I don't know when the next stream is going to be necessarily. I want, I want to make a a new stream schedule, a more consistent one for uh, now that the challenge is done. Like, I had a consistent one for the entirety of the challenge, but I can't maintain that and do all the work on other stuff that I gotta do, like editing for the challenge and other things that I wanna do, so there will be fewer streams, but hopefully those streams... Uh, I, I, I'm still gonna try and fit at least one stream per week in for the foreseeable future. I'll be updating my community posts, my like community tab on YouTube, as well as the Discord with the... Uh, with the information on what exactly I ultimately decide on for a stream schedule later on. But for now, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed this final little... I was going to say nail in the coffin, but that's not <laughs> exactly what I mean. This, this final uh, sort of victory lap. Or start of our victory lap, anyway. For Frugal Farm. Vector is down. Perfection is ours. That's all there is to say right now. Until next time, whenever that may be, it'll be sooner than you think, I guarantee it. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and have a good night. Bye, everyone. <laughs>